Hey everyone, it's Andrew Kilpatrick here, and I would like to give you a little brief overview of the new Kilpatrick format modular synth. This is the System 2 model that has eight modules. Uh, it has three K2 pitch oscillators. It has the K1 mixer interface, um, which has a, an audio mixer and also a MIDI to CV converter. It has two of the K4 envelope modulator, which is an envelope generator times two, which can also be an LFO. And it also has a dual LFO at the bottom that has some interesting features. It has a K5 filter amp, which is a quad uh, VCA and low pass filter. And it has the K3 digital effects, which is a dual digital effects processor that has a 24 bit reverb and delay at the top. And it has a lo fi 12 bit uh, CV and audio effect generator at the bottom. <laughs> So what I've got going on here is I've got two oscillators playing. They're connected to the volt per octave. Um, well one of them is connected to the volts per octave, the CV out of the MIDI converter. That's the primary oscillator that's choosing the pitch. It is hard syncing the second oscillator. Uh, the CV signal is also going over and adjusting the speed of my LFO, which is doing some low-pass filter sweeps. I was sort of working on a, like a bass sound. And that, that cool sound of the sort of harmonics sweeping up and down are from the second oscillator, which is being hard synced. And I'm sending out a, a pulse wave, but it's uh, getting reset at various points. Um, and then, uh, so I've, I've got an LFO here. I'm using the uh, envelope generator portion of one of the K4s to generate the, uh, the envelope for the volume. And it also sweeps the uh, cutoff up and down using the, the uh, filter mode of the K5. And uh, I've got some reverb going on here. There's an auxiliary output on the mixer interface, which I'm using to send a reverb send over to the K3. And then the stereo output of the K3 goes into, there's a stereo input on the K1, which is not by accident, uh, for doing the reverb return. Uh, you can also send signals out uh, if you want to do like fed back reverb and stuff. You can use that for special effects. Um, and then that's about it. <laughs>